Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Online and today I want to talk about a computer case and it's this case right here and it is made by do-it-yourself PC or DIY PC. The model number for this is uh, DIY-SO8-G, G for green. Now they do make this, there's a little manual that comes with it, they do make it in a white, black, green, and pink it looks like. Um, I ordered this off Newegg and they have the green, black, and white models. I did not see the, the, the pink one, but they say they make it. So anyhow, I wanted to talk about this case because I have an older computer that um, it still really does really well. It runs Windows 10 uh, just fine, and uh, but I need the case for something else. So I picked this case up to migrate it over to it so I could use the other case for another project I have. Um, and when I migrate it over, I'll do a couple upgrades to it. But I'll make a video of all that when I do it. But I did want to talk about this case uh, because it does. It's, it's, it's a very small case, but it has quite a bit of features to it. And some things that if you're looking at this case, you might want to take into consideration. So let's go ahead and jump over to the new egg uh, website here. And I have it pulled up. And on here they have it marked at $46.99. I think when I bought it, because I've had it for a week or so now, it was a little bit cheaper. I think I picked it up uh, about $5 cheaper than this, but uh, I'd have to check for sure. But I will tell you that the green case is cheaper than the black case, and then the green and black case are cheaper than the white case. So not sure what that is about, but maybe it's just a popularity thing with the colors. So uh, I'll, I'll scroll through a couple of these pictures of it uh, here on Newegg. I do have some pictures of my own to show you, um, but you know this is uh, this is what they have here. Uh, it does have a USB 3 port there, audio ports and USB 2 ports up on top. Um, there's a kind of a section of the inside there, and you know there's one of the back. So and there's there's what you get in the package. You get a little pamphlet. You get a case speaker, some screws, then the case in a box right there. All right. Let's scroll down and look at the specs on this thing. So, of course, the brand is DIY PC. The model number is DIY-SO8-G. It is a ATX mid-tower. Uh, color is green. The case material is steel-tempered glass. It does not come with a power supply. The power supply does mount on the bottom. Uh, the motherboard co uh, compatibility is a micro ATX, ATX, and mini, a uh, mini ITX. It does have a side panel window. Uh, now, it does have, for internal drives, it says two 3.5 drive bays and two 2.5 drive bays. I'm not sure. I don't, for looking at it, and I'll show you some pictures that I took, I think you can only mount two drives, and they can be either 2.5 drive bay, uh, 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch. I don't think you can put four drives total, but I'll show you the pictures and why I think that down the line. You do have seven expansion slots. The front ports include two USB 2s and one USB 3 and an audio jack. The uh, fan options are on the front. You can put three 120 millimeter fans. On the top, you can put two 120 millimeter fans. Uh, on top of the power supply, which I have a picture of this, I'll show you. You can put two 120 millimeter fans. And on the rear, one 120 millimeter fan. And it does come with that one pre installed. It's just a black fan, it doesn't have any lights or anything like that. Radiator options are on the front a 240 millimeter, on the rear a 120 millimeter, and on the top a 240 millimeter. And I'll talk about that too. It looks like on the front that you, know, you you if there was a little bit more room on the bracket that covers the the battery well and or the battery well <laughs> that covers up the power supply uh, area and the and the hard drive mounting area, it, you might have been able to put a longer radiator on the front, but um, it doesn't look like there's enough room and that's why they say uh, you can only fit a 240 millimeter on the front. So the dimensions are is 17.6 inches tall, 8 inches wide, and 14.4 inches deep. So there you go. Um, yeah, those are the specs. So let me get back over here to the main screen and I'll go ahead and show you some of the pictures I took and kind of explain what, uh, some of the things I was looking at. Uh, with the pictures I took so let's jump over there boom so here's the front there uh, from the inside you can see there's three fan spots there and down the bottom right hand corner you can kind of see there's a little bit of a gap there where you think man maybe I could fit a radiator but you would have no way to mount a fan on it so even if it could slide in so I believe that's why they said 240 millimeter 
All right. There is on top of the battery, uh, battery, I keep saying battery. There's on top of the power supply compartment. And that's where you can put two um, 120 millimeter fans if you wanted to. And I saw some pictures in the reviews of people who did that. Yeah, it looked neat. Um, but, you know, it is what it is if you want to use them. Uh, there's your uh, motherboard background there. Nothing real big. I, I, I did read a lot that there was plenty of decent uh, openings and stuff like that for cable management. So there you go. All right. Now this is the bottom side from the uh, the 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 just the metal panel on the left side. Or I'm sorry, the right side of the case. If you're looking at it from the front, this is where your hard drives go, and it's this little bracket here, which um, is kind of right behind my my image that I'm that you see on the screen. And like I said, it, it has holes cut in it, and I think it's I think you can put only a, you can only put one 2.5 inch or one 3.5 inch there. And then the other spot, there's the bracket again, with it out. And then the other spot, which is on right underneath that, I think that's where you put the other hard drive if you have it. So I don't think you can fit four. I think you can only fit two. Maybe you can. If you know anything about it, let me know. But from what I can tell, there's only mounts. The If you put one type of hard drive, a 3.5, you're not going to fit a 2.5 in there. So it looks like two spots, and it can accommodate either 2.5 or 3.5. But... Um, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't put anything in it yet, so we'll see, but I just, from visualizing it, I can't see anything other than that. Um, you know, the fan that does come pre-installed comes with this four type, uh, this, the, the bigger four pin connector and it's only two wires. It doesn't have any lights or anything like that on it. This is the back side. Here's your expansion slots. These are not retained by screws. These are, um, the metal is pressed and you have to bend them to pop them out. So if you bend the wrong one and pop it out. You, you, you're going to have a big hole there unless you have some spares to throw in there and cover it up. Uh, some spare blanks to cover it up. Uh, but this piece that, that is folded over, that is a plastic piece that folds back up and clips in there. And it covers up your screws for you. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I got another picture. Yep. So this is on the bottom side. You have a little filter cover right there for any air that comes up in there. Uh, on the bottom side and on the top side you have a magnetic filter that just goes right over the fans and it actually fits really flush I was really impressed with it so and there you can also see your ports you have uh, the USB 2's and then a USB 3 and then your uh, audio jacks right there one for your mic and one for your headset you have a reset button a power button and yep that's all the pictures I got so all right there you go. That's kind of an overview of this case. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm uh, my my old computer. I need that case. I'm going to take the uh, insides of that computer, migrate them over to this computer, do an upgrade on it. I will do a video on that. But I needed a case. I didn't need anything too big. Uh, I'm not going to make it. This isn't going to be used for anything uh, high end gaming or anything like that. This is going to somebody who's you know needs to do some word processing, maybe some Excel, maybe watch a couple YouTube videos and stuff like that. So it doesn't need to be anything fancy. And that's why I went with this case because it was one of the cheaper ones I found. But I tell you what, looking at it, the quality is pretty decent. I'm pretty impressed with it for the price. I will say there's one other thing to note is these four screws right here and the two screws on the back that hold the back panel on, they're not retained. So if you take the screws off, they're just going to fall out. They don't, they don't stay with the piece, the panels. So if you're somebody who's going to be going in and out of your case doing upgrades or making changes on the hardware might not be something you're you want you, know, you you need to note that you know because you could lose the screws uh lose the screws and stuff like that so but uh other than that it did come with a little bag of screws and the speaker so uh if you use it but um you know if you're somebody who does a lot of computer stuff you probably have tons of screws laying around but it's still nice that it comes with all that stuff well there you go that's pretty much all i have about it i think it's a pretty decent case for the price so we'll see um in the video down the line where I migrate the other computer into it maybe maybe it gets frustrating but for right now I'm thinking I made a pretty decent decision on um, the case I need for that so let me know your thoughts put a comment down in the comment section appreciate you watching the video y'all have a good day